This is Dr. Stevanovich and colleagues from Massachusetts Eye and Ear presenting a video showing a glaucoma tube revision and pars plana vitrectomy to relieve a plugged glaucoma tube. The patient is a 36-year-old woman with a history of juvenile idiopathic arthritis and advanced secondary glaucoma in both eyes. She was aphakic after cataract removal in both eyes during childhood and had an Ahmed valve placed in her right eye 13 years ago, as depicted in the photograph above. She was also followed for an iris lesion for the past 10 years. As seen on ultrasound biomicroscopy, this is a retained summering ring cataract. The connection of the mass to the zonules, as depicted by the arrow, and the history of cataract extraction with aphakia are clues that lead to the diagnosis. She presented to our emergency room with pain, pressure, and intermittent blurry vision in her right eye. Her right eye had a visual acuity of 2025 and an intraocular pressure of 38 millimeters of mercury. Her examination was notable for vitreous prolapse through the pupil with vitreous material plugging her Ahmed tube. She was started on maximum medical therapy, which included Cosopt, Bremonidine, and PO Diamox. Her IOP decreased to 10 to 19, and she was scheduled for urgent surgical revision of the tube and vitrectomy. Here, the vitreous that is plugging the tube is being removed. Notice how long the vitreous strand inside the tube is and how its composition is different compared to normal vitreous. It is more gray, opaque, and fibrous than normal vitreous. We can now see removal of a dense white material which is located posterior to the iris. The surgery proceeded with the removal of the summering ring cataract. This material forms after cataract extraction when retained equatorial lens epithelial cells proliferate and form new cortical fibers. The obstruction of the peripheral iridotomy by the summering ring is relieved. Here, the tube is flushed and a bleb is seen. This indicates that the tube is now patent and functions properly. At the end of the surgery, all sclerostomies were closed to prevent hypotony in the setting of a functional shunt. On post-op day one, the patient's IOP was two. As expected, the IOP normalized to 12 within seven days, indicating a successful surgery. Thank you for watching.